and drones are equipped with a variety of sensors. Airbnb Babylon JS. A woman bitten by Spider-Man at Shitterton supermarket, now weaving cocoons around the city at night. Authorities advise caution. Are you thinking of learning JavaScript? Or are you already using it? And thinking that you're out of the woods? Don't. Here's eight ways how JavaScript will f up your life. Number one. One day you're coding a button and the next day you're in a secret Iranian facility asking Matthew McConaughey to hand you a wrench. JavaScript can be used to program drones in a number of ways. For example, a DJI Phantom series of drones use a mobile SDK that allows developers to create custom apps using JavaScript to control the drone's flight path, attitude, speed and other parameters. And drones are equipped with a and drones are equipped with a variety of sensors, including GPS, cameras and accelerometers. So JavaScript can be used to control and access these sensors, allowing developers to create custom applications that can capture and analyze data. You could program drones to monitor a wide variety of activities, such as wildlife populations, environmental conditions and infrastructure. Here is an article, for example, explaining programming the AR drone 2.0 using JavaScript and Node.js. The link is in the description. Flying drones is popular nowadays, and developers have all the freedom to invent countless hacks for them. There is a huge open source community that is always expanding with new possibilities to explore new things. Horrible. Don't do it. Hey! Number two, one day you're building a pop-up window, and the next day you're devising contraptions that facilitate adultery across the world. React Native is a nah. React Native is a framework for building native apps with JavaScript. It allows building mobile apps using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And deploy the same code to iOS, Windows, Android, and TV. Oh. Facebook mobile app is built using React Native, Instagram also uses React Native, Airbnb is built using React Native, Uber uses a combination of native code and JavaScript, SoundCloud is built using JavaScript and other technologies, and Tinder is using Node.js on the back end, which is basically a form of JavaScript that is running on the server. Absolutely horrible, don't do it. Number three, one day you're building an image slider, the next day a vacuum cleaner is sliding a grandmother across the floor. Number three. One day you're building an image slider, and the next day you're an accessory to a global enslavement of grandmothers by their vacuum cleaners across the world. You have to keep in mind that JavaScript can be used for artificial intelligence and machine learning. You can build applications that use machine learning libraries, such as Brain.js, Magenta.js, and ML5.js. They can perform tasks such as image recognition, speech recognition, language processing, and grandmother enslavement. For instance, one example that uses machine learning is a magic sketchpad that was built using Magenta.js. Every time you start drawing a doodle, the sketch RNN tries to finish it and matches it to the category you've selected. And another one by the same developer called Piano Genie. It uses machine learning to pretend that you're a piano virtuoso. I'm basically just pressing the same keys here over and over again. Very few people know, but Luciano Pavarotti built his whole fraudulent career with this app. Horrible. Don't do it. Number four. One day you're just adding a clock to a website, and the next day you're interacting with a hairy wrist of an overly obese man. Gordon Williams, a software engineer from Oxford, built a smartwatch called Bangle JS, which allows users to install apps from the web or develop their own using JavaScript. There is a JavaScript interpreter that allows you to upload code and debug it wirelessly with just a web browser, and there is also an online emulator you can try your scripts in. The watch is entirely open source, has its own app store where everything is free and open source, and it's easy to remix existing apps by modifying their code, or create completely new ones from scratch.
What is this? Robbing Tim Cook of his Apple Watch sales and his lifelong dream to buy a pair of slippers made out of iguanas. This is horrible. Don't do it. Number 5. One day you are writing security patches for a respectable financial institution and the next day you are an art student in a Baptist Fine Arts University of Holy Baptism in Aladdin, Wyoming, wearing a hat made out of a stuffed beaver and demanding your mother to call you Cornelius. A good example of generative art created with JavaScript is this portrait series called Alternatives. Basically, the algorithm draws vectors based on data collected from photographs sourced online, and the results are abstract portraits that tell stories alternative to their origins. Not only the animal has suffered, but your mother has to now learn your new name. Horrible. Don't do it. Number 6. One day you are working on a JavaScript matrix array, and the next day there is no spoon. JavaScript has become an essential tool for creating AR and VR content on the web. VR stands for virtual reality and AR stands for augmented reality. Aye. The most popular tool that you'd need for web-based 3D stuff is 3GS. It is particularly good for creating interactive VR experiences and gives you a wide range of tools and features that allow users to explore and navigate virtual spaces. And another useful tool for building VR content with JavaScript called Babylon.js. And it supports a variety of VR and AR devices, like Windows Mixed Reality headsets, Google Cardboard and Oculus Go. There is also a framework developed by Mozilla. It is called A-Frame and it's good for creating virtual experiences on the web without any plugins. And there is also a list of curated VR and AR resources on GitHub. The link will be in the description. Absolutely horrible! Don't do it! Number 7. One day you're building a pony in a JS Fiddle, and the next day five-year-olds across the world throw people out of moving vehicles and punch prostitutes. You can build games with JavaScript. Of course, you wouldn't be able to build AAA games like GTA with JavaScript. But that's how people get hooked. Uh, <coughs> sorry, that's how people get hooked in game DF sites. Nobody says besides in the real world. Additionally, who knows where browsers and JavaScripts will be in five or ten years' time? Horrible! Don't do it. And finally, number eight. One day you petting a turkey, and the next day you fell through the roof into a corn harvester strapped to an elderly woman. <coughs> no, that's uh, sorry. Just seven then. Now you know the JavaScript superpowers. The Spider Woman did not choose to have hers. You can. All the links are in the description. Did I also mention I have a video on how Queen Mother tried to help abuse girl? Check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe. Hit the bell. It helps the victim. Victim system. <clears throat> it helps victims of Margaret. Um, the, it helps victims of Margaret Thatcher impersonators across the world. Subscribe, hit the bell, did I say that, and see you soon. <clears throat>